that is not a good party. So we are sharing ideas and uh, we went together and we recorded like this. Uh, well, talking about business, I think it is one of the most important things to do in this part of the world. In all fairness, the guy is one of the most important things to do business. And uh, if I want to refer to you, I was part of this project a time ago and I remember uh, the owner and the team put together to have such a brilliant idea. In the course of wanting to build our project in Nigeria, government of Nigeria itself will start mitigating against you. It's one of the challenges of our science. Well, talking about myself, uh, as a schoolboy who studied architecture way back in university, I've always had a passion for uh, the, my parents would say, Ishere or Maharashtra Dere Uru or Maharashtra. My mom used to say that and it used to clean it in my head. So when I got appointments in various offices in Lagos, as an architect I was working with friends, I've always had it at the back of my mind that one day I have to set up a firm where I will employ people. More so, I was about to, to work with the state government as a due process officer going at the question I don't know you know that I got me for almost eight years. After which I left for Chester University and did some other things here and there. But well, even along the line, I had that passion for uh, employing people, for being a leader among leaders and all the rest. And this propelled me to form this, uh, we call it uh, a complete cool affairs. It used to be uh, designed, built, and furnished. So we design lives for you. We build for you and we furnish you. We don't want to go. So the idea became very loud and successful that we were able to extend to other sectors of life, like family, like uh, you know, construction, military, and some other things. But I was telling you to do business like you are going crazy. Well. If you are not crazy, you can't be successful. Because there are quite a lot of things that will be bringing on itself as a challenge to you. Like I said, government is a major factor. The policies of our government in society is not even uh, SMEs, you know the way that they will pay tax. One day, one day, we should see. The people who started that require a million people that got those, that will be the people who having problems. But they started paying different bills, different tax. So if you want to send any data, uh, any tax, you say, ah, send it to the government, it's a million people. And they don't even think of what impact is having on our business or what are we facing as a people. We actually encounter a lot of challenges and we are overcoming it by the grace of God. One thing you have to put at the back of your mind is that you cannot do any business without God. God is the first businessman. So if you key into putting God first in everything, there is no way you are not going to be successful. No we have any challenges. Like we are having. We are for two of you going to us and those are challenges. We want to go around for the this year. But if you are focused and test for self there is nothing that can do that you. That's one thing that's true. Over time, a, a long time ago, I've been sharing with young minds around me that at the time, maybe about eight, ten years ago, we we were poor with insurance. You know the dealers now, we were only poor with insurance. We had schools. We just have people in container the rest of the trust in for the rest of the show. And we just acquired the truck. Every time the truck, we would go to the end of the And that was the end of the year when we just sold all our goods and had a lot of transaction. It was like as if it was over. But we were steadfast. We put everything in it. I will tell you a secret today and just have to bear with me. For over five years, I was not taking a cover from my record, I was putting it to it. I was hustling for other places and trying to survive and work. And since today, I'm still putting it on it. I will I have a brother who is a partner for the university. Please give a round of applause for my work. This is really good. Yeah, we have a very good brother for having it for a long time. We, 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 we focus on it, give it all the best you can give. Don't mind me, I will talk at you. Leave me, I will talk for two minutes. Question me. Now, the reality is that. We keep giving to it, even without expressing much. At the time, I would get my salary in a or in a I used to pay people's salary. 
Oh, thank God to be in there. We are one of the nice out of our end. We are at the end of all the other things and we still call them up. Even with the challenges we are having. It's been a lot of challenge, but we just have to be steadfast. And you know, you need to do that. You can do it for yourself. The world is not out there or ready to do it for you. We are not prepared to keep having challenges. I know that me and uh, Anna and Saki, we were always fighting when we were doing this project. We were in the and we were also for this. We have to have new challenges, but we have this ideology that we must be focused. We have to have money, we go back to the money, put the money down, wherever we go, and say, pay tax, pay this, pay that. I want you all to do all the other. You are the first person to remember. I want to believe you see us as experiencing all the experiences. We keep paying bills to you. Don't give all the bills. And you pay for the weather, the weather, and it's all about that. And these are the challenges of our business. And I know that if you are steadfast and you are focused on whether you are doing success is yours. Thank you. Good evening, sir. You are doing good. My name is YC from Maria Entertainment TV. What's your name, sir? Yeah, I'm the CEO director of Plus Shelter. I'm into construction, estate management. So that's what I'm into. Yeah, on Twitter, on uh, Instagram, and on Facebook at A Plus Shelter. Um, we're located at Ayekale in Oshogo here. I expect much from the CEOs, and uh, it's one of the kind. Uh, stuff like this has never happened in Oshogo before, and uh, it's something that that we encourage we young CEOs just to do more better. I'm caring mother, Sherifat Obudare. Oh, good, good, good. Hello, mom. Good evening. Good evening. How we know you? I'm caring mother, Bumi Oyebamji, a.k.a. Bumite Boutique and Surprise. This caring mother, caring mother thing, what is it all about? If I, if I can ask you, man. Yeah, thank you very much. You see, when we are talking about caring mother, we were, we were a group of friends that we we gather ourselves together to help the next I mean, the less privilege in our society and like today 20 27th of december 2022 we visited the orphanage home at a forward of our forward orphanage home at Ogoluwa Oshogbo where we deliver some items to them and it's not just two of us it's not just two of us. We we were in nine in number. Where we have a caring mother Lara, all the way from Ilori. We have caring mother Bosede. We have caring mother Ashabi, Bumite, me myself, and Kainde, and Mrs. Demi as well. So we all attend to. We all visited the orphanage home today. Yes, I'm caring mother, Bumi Oyebamji. Yes, I really find it interesting because we have the society, we give to the orphanage, we help the less privileged, and we do some other things to people around us. We have people around us, and we make things happen around us. So, glory be to God. So I told my mom I wanted to like, learn makeup because I met someone who wanted to make up. 